finally we're here. This is the Cave of the Indian. Big fluffy unicorns dancing on rainbows. Okay, we are putting on our tennis shoes and then we're going to start this adventure. Um, I'm not really sure how I feel about this. Uh, the last time Rosie and I came, we just paid like the $5 and the guy let us go. Uh, but today, we went to pay and he's like, oh no, it's $5 per person. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. That's not what you charged me last time. So after talking to him for like 20 minutes, I found out he actually pocketed the money last time. So when I was here a few months ago, there was a rickety little ladder that went down into the cave, but that ladder has since been removed because it was deemed to be dangerous. However, there's a little crack that's in the rock and apparently it looks like a little vagina and you can crawl inside of it and then crawl down into the cave. So that's how we're going to try to get into the cave today because like I said, the ladder no longer exists. Um, as far as how much it costs to go here, like it's not very much. I just don't like the fact that they just make it whatever price they want for the day. But here's our conversation as far as that. Oh, and look at the lizard! Because I was like, that's not what you charged me last time. You told me and my friend just go, this at the other, you only charged one of us. And he's so cool. I was like, um, so that's like why is it different or whatever. But now they have these tickets that they give you, and the tickets have numbers, and so. He gets so many numbers and then he has to give so much money back. So apparently it's five dollars per person, just so you know. Alright, up there where the bag is, that's where we have to go. This bag and bottle are the indicator markers of where the cave is, just so you know when you are hiking. Uh, the ladder used to be right there. As you can see, it no longer exists. If you're standing looking at the cave and you turn to the right on that back wall behind you, you'll notice this little, it looks like Mother Nature's vagina. This is the hole you have to crawl into to get inside of the cave now. So Chris is going to be the first one to crawl in to see if we can make it in there, if we'll fit in there. way into the cave as you can see it's a bit tight it's a tight squeeze um, I'm currently sitting in that like vagina part of it and I have to crawl into here this is the actual cave itself uh, and then trying to get out I wasn't sure how to get down I'm like do I go front ways or back ways how do I get out of here <laughs> to Arecibo and go into this Indian cave um, I just want to let you know, getting in and out of here, you kind of need to be tall, I would say. Um, I'm 5'8", and I've got some pretty long legs, but I had difficulties finding grooves to get my feet in and out of. I mean, they're pretty spread apart, and in order to get down into the cave, I would say you really shouldn't be shorter than 5'6". I wouldn't try to go in there if I were shorter than 5'6". Um, you kind of need to have the height in order to get in and out safely. Okay, we have climbed out of the cave and now we are climbing out of this rock formation, whatever you would call this. Um, the view from up here is absolutely gorgeous. It's breathtaking. These rocks are like being on a completely different planet altogether. Chris is up there taking pictures. I'm so glad he's enjoying himself. Um, we're actually going to go to the other side of these rocks, the same direction as this helicopter actually, uh, because there's a secret little area over there, like a secluded little beach area, I guess. Um, I don't know. You'll see it when we get over there, because obviously you're coming with us, so. He loves it. I'm so happy that he loves it. I was sure if he was going to love it as much as I love it, which I'm sure, I'm not really sure if he does or not. I'm happy to see him having fun. I'd like to just take a moment and say, do you see these rocks? Do you see them? 
like they are so jagged and they are so like big and bulky and there's like craters and boulders and like it, it listen it's not fun to walk on so just be prepared for your feet to be like stabbed to death pretty much is totally different this time because it's in the middle of the day where last time it was like the sun was going down Chris is being funny he's talking about he wants to like jump off of here and like all kinds of stuff he's like oh that would be fun I'm like uh what no listen those rocks are so jagged they would literally like chop you into little pieces like you would land on those rocks and break every bone in your body and definitely effing die and then drown from the waves so he's like laughing at me like i don't know he's too much but i love him <laughs> Woohoo! We're coming out of the bushes. We are finally to the other side so you guys can see the view from this side in the private beach that I'm talking about. It is breathtaking, I think. I, I really think this is probably the most beautiful place that I have ever seen in my life. And I that's what I said last time I was here and I still think that now. Is it as beautiful as it was in my video or more so, probably, right? Video doesn't do it justice. Video doesn't do it justice. And I feel like, no, even though I have a thing on here for the wind, it's still gonna be windy. Like, it's so windy up here, you know? gonna sit here for a bit and just enjoy this view and take in the mother nature that is around us and um, I just want to say you know I'm really lucky I got such an amazing life partner and I really love traveling with him and sharing these experiences with him and there's not anybody else that I rather do this stuff with So ridiculously hot here oh my goodness um, okay so I've now been here two times one was in the evening when the Sun was setting and the other is obviously today in the middle of the hot ass day um, I would suggest if you're gonna come here I personally think that the evening time when the Sun is setting is by far um, nicer. I don't know. They both have two totally different vibes to them, two totally different feelings to them. So um, maybe you can come during the day and in the evening. I don't know. I don't, I mean, I don't know. I prefer the evening. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. We are going to try to find the Christopher Columbus statue that you can see from um, the Kirk Beach area that we just left. Uh, we don't know where it is, but I'm sure it's close by. It can't be very far, so we're heading to try to find that now. It, but it's surrounded by a gate, and I don't have any clue what any of these signs say or mean. So, hmm. We decided we were going to drive up the road, turn around, drive back up the road a little bit um, and get a picture where the gate is not directly in front of the statue. And I must say, this statue is super detailed and very intricate. It's really pretty. I don't know what it's for or why you can't get to it, but it's pretty. 